Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to go over the top 5 mistakes dentists make when it comes to their marketing. We're going to look at the problem and then we're going to go over the solution and what it takes for you to be a cut above the rest. For those of you who aren't familiar with me, uh, hello, my name is Dawson. Uh, I own a dental marketing company here in Colorado Springs. Uh, really excited about the video that I have planned today. Uh, a lot of dentists that I see uh, really struggle with some of these uh, issues. And so uh, I'm really happy about uh, making this video in order to uh, help you get over some of those hurdles and for you to be uh, a force in nature within your uh, own market. A lot of dentists I know really need someone that's uh, in their corner and willing to uh, call things out uh, within their practice that uh, isn't the best they need, um, the voice of truth, uh, if you will. Uh, so today, my goal is to be that, that guiding voice for some of you uh, who feel like you're, you know, you're the only one that's uh, really working on your dental practice and uh, you're the only one that really cares. Uh, but today, I wanna lock arms with you. Uh, I want to help you as much as I can. And uh, together, we're going to uh, get over some of these common issues. Before we go any further, I wanna encourage you to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm really passionate about uh, what I do here uh, on this channel. Uh, so feel free to uh, subscribe, uh, like the video, uh, and leave a comment asking uh, maybe uh, an issue that you have that you wanna get over. Maybe there's a video suggestion that you want to um, let me know about. I would love to uh, make content that's tailored to you and to uh, help you out as much as I can. So jumping to the first mistake I see most dentists make is not knowing their numbers. Uh, for me, a, a finance guy, I have a finance degree. Um, this is something that's uh, very near and dear to, to my heart, uh, especially when you are running a, a business, when you're running a, a dental practice, uh, you gotta know uh, what is, is going on. You gotta know what's uh, happening in, in terms of the, the number side. Uh, if you're not sure how much you uh, spend on ads, if you're not sure how many of the leads that you got converted, um, if you're not sure about uh, general uh, questions that uh, anyone could ask you about your uh, marketing campaign, uh, then you really got to change that. Uh, I made a video in the past about how to uh, look at that, uh, how to go over some of those numbers and uh, fix those issues. Uh, so first things first, make sure you get your numbers right. Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank says, if you don't know your numbers, you're screwed. The second mistake I see when it comes to a marketing your practice is not improving your patient experience. Uh, at the end of the day, we can get you as many leads as possible. You can uh, spend uh, thousands and thousands of dollars on advertising, uh, get the best company to uh, work on your website, uh, everything else. But if you don't improve uh, your patient experience, uh, if you're uh, not willing to uh, project to the patient that you care about them, that they're important, uh, you're going to uh, inevitably fail. That's why it's so important to uh, improve your patient experience and make sure that you're uh, putting your patient first. If you're looking for ways to improve your patient experience, I made a video here that you can find. Uh, it's a comprehensive guide about uh, going through your patient experience from A to Z, looking at uh, all the way from someone finding you online to them uh, walking out of your practice uh, happy. Uh, Really good video there, uh, comprehensive, like I said. Uh, feel free to check that out if you need help with uh, your patient experience. The third mistake I see most dentists make when it comes to marketing or practice is not following a proven process. When it comes to marketing, you gotta make sure that you have a clear goal in mind. If you're uh, hesitant or even uh, confused about what uh, your objective is and you don't have a really specific plan uh, to get there, you will inevitably fail. That's why it's important to stick to uh, what's already worked in the past. Uh, go to people that have a successful practice. Uh, look at people that have run a sex, uh, successful marketing campaign. Uh, look at what they did, implement that, and you should be able to get the same results. The fourth mistake I see, <laughs> the, fourth, <laughs> the fourth mistake I see most dentists make when it comes to marketing is not following up with their leads or old patients. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, so many dentists have uh, lists and just names and names of patients that have come in uh, years ago or maybe a, a couple months ago but haven't rescheduled. Uh, these are people that have been to you before. Uh, these are people that uh, know you, they like you, they trust you, they've already been in in the past. Uh, maybe they uh, missed the uh, reminder text or maybe uh, something else happened. Uh, this is a really easy way for you to uh, invite them back into your practice uh, and to get those appointments uh, from those patients. Another thing to do is to invite old leads in. You can combine that with your uh, patient list or your uh, old patient list, as I mentioned before. And uh, with those two together, you should be able to 
uh, invite them in via text. Uh, the most success that I've seen doing this is just text them like a friend saying, hey, this is Dawson from a such and such a dentistry. Uh, we're running a special this week and we would love if you could come in uh, sometime soon. Uh, so this is effective uh, in the sense that uh, people don't feel uh, opposed to it. And the biggest thing is they've already uh, come in to uh, the practice. They already know you uh, in some form. If it's a lead, they've already seen your face put in their info. If they're uh, an old patient, they've already uh, been to the practice. Uh, so this is an easy way for you to get a couple appointments um, every single month. The fifth mistake I see most dentists make when it comes to marketing is not having a solid foundation. What I mean by this is dentists that don't have an up-to-date website, dentists that aren't posting on social media consistently, a dentist that don't have a solid patient experience, uh, if you're missing one of those three, it's going to be difficult for you to uh, compete with some of the dentists around you. I suggest having a 360 approach when it comes to your marketing. Uh, have everything in place, uh, your website, your social media accounts, your patient experience. Uh, have everything on lock uh, in order for you to be uh, successful with running ads. Usually if you have one of those things missing, for example, you don't have the patient experience down, it doesn't matter, like I said before, it doesn't matter how many patients or um, leads that you get uh, in through your door, uh, it's not gonna make a big difference because uh, you know you, you still have issues with your uh, patient experience. Uh, but like I said, that's something that you can change and that's something that you can uh, improve on. If there was something that I said that resonated with you today, uh, feel free to book a one hour call with me uh, via the description below. Uh, this is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. Uh, I'm going to uh, kind of hear your situation, uh, see where you're at, and if it sounds like we can work together, uh, then we will. If not, that's totally fine. At least you made a friend. I'll point you in the right direction and we'll go from there. If you have a friend that needs to see this video, maybe it's a colleague or a friend in dental college, uh, feel free to uh, send them this video uh, as an excuse to, to reconnect with them. How about that? <laughs> Joking aside, if you know someone that needs uh, help with their marketing, feel free to send them this video. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment, uh, like the video, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.